I have not been following most times, but I always make sure that I listen. I watch the video. Uh, you know, each of the, the segments, I always watch the video. But for the past two weeks or there about, I've been trying to get through. Luckily, I happened to make it today. And here you are. Thank you. So, thank, thank, you. thank you so much. God bless you. you know, uh, I have to really, really, I will take my own bow on the on the altar. I know others are taking bow to the drug oh, in Nigeria, That's but I, I'm thing. taking, hmm. yes. But I'm taking my own bow on the altar. The altar I'm true. so happy you. where you are. I'm so happy where we are because yes, I am a part of like the Like I mean, you know, me seated here today uh, was a dream. But I realized yes. that uh, I was told that uh, it's, it's okay to dream, but if you can uh, dream with others, right, you possibly could make it happen faster than, you know, and that's why I'm here. Because uh, a lot of people wanted, uh, is it, what would you want? How would you want to be supported? I said, well, I would want a place where I could indeed uh, really, really unravel. And I'm, I mean, you know, yeah. I'm grateful for that. Yes, and it's fantastic. It's, I'm actually one of, I'm actually a very proud guy watching you, watching the background, watching all the equipment. I you feel know, like this is all coming to more me. like a dream come true. I know. And we have just achieved this. We are going to the next stage. I know. The next stage is coming. I know. All right? I there will be a stage that a point in life, God keeps giving us a life that this temple of truth will be transmitted every street in Nigeria. At some That's point, right. everybody will be able to watch it. I agree. So, mm, going back to the discussion of the day, thank you, my brother. The, going to the discussion of the day, you know, I we all kind of understand what is going on in Nigeria, and I have, in my own little uh, opinion, I think what this current illegitimate government is doing is that they are trying all their possible best to hoodwink everyone who has who they perceive that is likely going to be a a, a right. strong voice a voice against them and they will find a way to rope you in either through intimidation or any other means possible talking about don yokupe don yokupe we all know we all know him he is just somebody who is looking for what he will eat apparently he found himself in the obedient movement a kind of people kind of gravitated towards him, mm -hmm. which I was not one of them. But here he is now singing a different voice. But what I can tell you, my brother and every listener, is that I am certain that they must have dusted his file, dusted up his file in F EFCC and going to show him to say, if you don't change your tone in our favor, we are going to pick you up. Mm. And that is why he's talking the way he's talking. I'm not sure what happened to the other other statesman who said judge. he was going to leave Nigeria. But they judge that he was going to leave Nigeria if Tinubu won the election. And here he is. Hmm. I remember I watched the clip of when Erufai was asking him that this is the same Tinubu that you are saying he should tell us his name. He should tell us the schools he attended. That uh, uh, this uh, Aroloya secondary school that he said attended was not even existent at the time he said he, he went there. So now he's the one that is saying that one year is not enough to judge this government. But one year is enough for them to budget billions Trillions. for all these things we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Trillions. Those are okay, but it's not okay to make an impact in the life of the ordinary Nigerians. Something the idea is, is that I is think I hmm. either, either tribal bigotry is coming in because we know we are not hearing anything from Wole Shoinka. We all know where it's, what, what the, the know reason why. behind it. That's right. Now, Jole, but, but they judge is singing a different song. We all know what is behind it. Look at uh, Doyo Kupe, of course. And even Pastor Tunde Bakari, he is no longer saying anything. Adebo so is asking us to pray. Know, and then Adebo is asking us to pray. So, you know, so these things are all orchestrated in my opinion because they Absolutely. want to make sure that if every voice is cut off against them I know. this is a, this is not korea in the making you you got this spot on 
Uh -huh. It's coming to a point where Nigerians cannot freely walk on the street yes. and even have a conversation that is suspected to be against the government. Yes. It's coming to that point. Yes, if we continue to bury our heads in shame, like uh, uh, David Dun uh, uh, who do you describe Nigeria as a 120 million mannequins mm. who cannot stand up to fight for their own lives. So it is a shame. And it is just going to, I'm not even sure. It's never going to stop until to... they are stopped. You remember I said that, right? I said, if, yes. they, are, if they are not stopped, they will never stop. Yes. But yeah, we'll they will never it. stop. And we, we, don't, we don't look like we are, we are ready to stop them. Ah, unfortunately. It's not looking so. You're right. Anthony, let me take another yes, one, right? right? It's so good Thank to you hear very much. Again. Thank you very much. Yeah? Absolutely. God bless Have a you, wonderful sir. day, my good general. Yes, bless sir. You. Thank you. That's Anthony from uh, Austin. Texas, ladies and gentlemen, I have another call as well. We uh, do have just about uh, 50 minutes to go. Uh, this is the second caller tonight. Hello, my king, my king. Oh, the prince. Yes. How my are you king, today, I, I'm fine. Oh, my king. So, uh, let me just let me uh, go straight to the how is, uh, Sweden today. Did Sweden I get that right? Fine. Sweden, eh? fine. Sweden is fine. Great, <laughs> yes, enjoying Sweden. the weather so far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless I you. Yeah. Go on, sir. Go on. I've just during the last couple of months, mm. I've discovered that you know to be a Nigerian, to be a black man in this world, you know, you lose ten to fifteen years mm. of your lifespan because of the trauma, the trauma that we are facing. That's right. We are facing trauma everywhere. Even even we that are here in Europe, mm -hmm. see the kind of that they are playing in Europe with immigration. Yes, we are not. We are not. Rights right. are taking over power everywhere now, yes. and they are yes. going to redefine immigration, citizenship, and yes. many other things. Exactly. Exactly. Right. We are under pressure everywhere. Then in our own continent, yeah, we have never been free. We are still fighting to save the ones that are suffering hell there. And they are giving us hell here. Mm. You see what a black man is going through. The okay. problem is much. The thing sometimes after thinking, thinking, your heart will be skipping. Because you are not sure anything anymore. You are not sure whether tomorrow they will say you are that a citizen, you are now resident. You know, you are not sure because these people they are coming, they are with their politics and they are destroying everything. That was that used to we used to know as normal, mm -hmm. you know. And it's always it's gradual, it's by the way, because in a system like right. this, right, whenever it is that they are coming for us, they are not going to just wake up one morning and say they are taking our citizenship. No, 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 no. You will begin mm -hmm. to kind of see that uh, yes, you have a British passport. Yes, you have yes. a Swedish passport. You are still Swedish and you are still British. Yes. But it's only when yes. you have uh, to access some certain. Uh, uh, services, support, and all of them yeah. that, that are yeah. accorded to their own cities. That's when they will tell you that, um, exactly. excuse me, you are not qualified. And you'll be like, what? Exactly. What do you mean I'm exactly. not qualified? I'm Swedish. I've been Swedish for 20 exactly. years. They say, yeah, exactly. we know. We both know. There's another one for you. We are going to get exactly. to that stage. It's, it's pushing. Baba. We are getting there gradually. 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 Because the campaign and right I, now is that... Uh, those of us who actually came to the country legally or legalized ourselves, fit ourselves mm -hmm. into their system, the politics mm -hmm. out there in Europe and all these places is just, just that immigration, immigration, immigration is coming to take our this or that. Sure you get. No. So let nobody sleep over it and think it is a done deal. I'm it's telling not. you, hmm. I'm telling you, Baba, look at it. Look at the situation. Yes, sir. This immigration, every, every now and then you'll be saying, ah, if, if tomorrow now, yeah, I have to leave. Do I have enough savings? Mm -hmm. And you will still be thinking, am I sure of Nigerian banks? There's a bank I just closed down, carry people money go. Mm. You know, and just no resting place. You won't carry money to a house. You know, you don't know. And look at the situation back home. The p girls, I just saw girls who are 16, 15. Did you see that too? They have already trafficked them. Mm -hmm. My whole country, my own citizens. They have already trafficked them. What is the pride in my country? What are these politicians? What are they doing? Hmm. What are they doing? 
I mean, there's something you even if you you they chop sacrifice, you get some kind of sacrifice where you know go chop. Sure you get. Even if they chop, if lion key hyena, you know they chop them. Hmm. Are your children? Now your children with this fifteen years, they are just almost like newborn babies. Fifteen Protect. years. Mm -hmm. 15 years, 15 years, but, but every day you cry. It's like this. I mean, if anyone, if, if anyone who is watching me is a father or a parent, generally a mom, right? And you've got teenage kids, okay? I mean, you probably should go on and just look at them and be like, what if that was my own daughter? No, it would. You, the, yes. first, the first thing is going to be like, never it's neck. It's not that going to happen. That's what we are now seeing. Yes. People have been pushed to the world that. So them, those children, they are now source of income for them. They are not uh, to be protected. See, That's the state that they are got into. I'm telling you, people are so desensitized. Uh -huh. The person that brought them there even brought his own sister. I swear, Baba, I have never seen a trafficker that has ah. their own family member before. Have you? Ah! See the one that robbed somebody that they killed. Uh -huh. The person died. Uh -huh. They still take the money, go. Took his TV, took whatever they could take. Okay. Then you go still say they are helpless, even if they know, if they, even if they want, they, they're good mind. Yeah. They know feel help the situation. God criminals. <laughs> yeah, they can't even still be God criminals. Hmm. Baba, they, uh, Baba God, may God help us. So. At this point, may God help us. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't they, you can't they even the worst the situation with this woman when we when we put in husband there, may he change things. He go to cry, say there is God. Oh. Now go, we 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 elect we elect uh, people to, to change Nigeria. To this place be that too. Let nobody now them now. as everybody is doing key, key, key in that comment section ah, of we elect peace, God president. It is also a reminder we elect president. to say uh, a reminder that that key, key, key you are kicking, key key, right. And there is God, do is part of what brought in APC. Sometimes you shouldn't be kicking. Yeah, you should use your brain that God gave you to fix the country. Mm -hmm. You are crying to God. Do you, do you don't know that that thing that thing showed everybody that we are hopeless. Mm -hmm. we didn't a rich country like this, they are going to try there is God. Do. What do your husband do to prevent kidnapping and all those things? But the problem is that that is that is job. You know, now that, um, people are, now that people are being told to get to, to understand and get used to their killers, Nigerians just so run crazy. What? what did that happen? Nigeria, you know, uh, at the early stages, oh, they were pointing fingers Baba, at your fault. Now, this one, now that one, now this one. Now, look at us today. Baba, I, I know, like for you, destroyed. Baba, I, I know, I know, like for you, me, when they help people for Nigeria, I say within the last three months. I began to leave leave people alone in Nigeria. You cannot help all of you them. You can't help everyone. I began to leave. They go, they call me and they go pick. Because of this thing where they look at our own, make I could save my head first. Because if you don't, Baba, you will end up like them. And you don't I want go to end up like them. I go end up like them. Thomas of the Mahama Law, meet our people. Hmm. We country, we do. I know I can't survive in that country again now. Baba, that's true. That's true. It's never going to be one of your top choice. So, uh, the prince, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, for stopping by. You have a good one. Okay. Now, let's uh, go uh, take another one. Saving time. Hello. Did I get you or did I miss you? I think I lost uh, that caller. So, here is another one. Another caller. Hello. Hello, my good general. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. How are you doing today? I'm very well too. This is uh, yeah, yeah. This is the uh, Lake City from New York City, but I'm yes. calling with uh, my US number now. Oh, yes. where are you? Uh, New York. You are still in New York? Okay, I thought you wanted to say like you are calling with your Nigerian number. And I was like, oh, are you there? No, no, my Lake City. You no, know, the last time it was my Nigerian number I called with. Now you are calling with the real one in the I mean, Akatum. Well, fair enough. Yes. Lake City. How is your day so far? How are you doing? So far, so good. So far, so good. I, I didn't um watch the show, but I saw the caption, which I was following earlier today, about uh, doing Okube and the rest. Please, your reaction. Yeah, well, first and foremost, I just want to... Uh, let me thank you first for what you're doing. Thanks, uh, it's not an easy job, and we'll... 
we always um, try our best to support you because we know that you are doing something that we all we all like and we all love to see about our country. So we'll keep supporting you the little uh, the little way we can. Thank you. You know, and I pray that um, the God Almighty strengthen you and um, uh, give you more wisdom and uh, grace your elbow more. Amen. To yeah. God. It's from where it's coming from. Thank you. Big side. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm um, going ahead ab about uh, what's happening now um, in Nigeria. I think for doing Okube, I don't really blame him okay. in one aspect. Please. I don't really blame him because I know from the jump start, Doyo Kubo is someone that has so many baggages. Mm. So many baggages, like wrong ones. Like if you go to his file, I believe, and I know that there are so many things that he can be indicted with. So it's 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 very, I knew that the moment uh, Kolu entered as, as the president, he, but I'm surprised that he lasted till now. Hmm. I was thinking that he would have flipped a long time ago. Hmm. I was thinking that he would have flipped a long time ago, but for him to last till now, well, I think I should say that. Than a year. This whole thing is even like less than uh, two years. It's like about 18, 19, or 20 months. And yeah. He has shrunk so much as well. There is suspicion about his health and other things, right? Yeah. Exactly. And the two this don't you think? To me, it's still fast. Yeah, he's he's not anyone, anybody that is over 40 years of age will be watching his his or her health because you know you are not getting younger anymore. And there's a lot of health issues that can, you know, come up. And though it could be being a being, I think he's a medical doctor, I believe he should be taking care of himself. And if something like that happens, you know, I believe that is uh, is a natural thing to happen to anybody. Yeah, and you know, people were like yeah. blaming it on maybe, you know, is uh, you know, you said something about uh, them using compromise on name, right? Because of his baggages, right? Then others yeah, are like, he has oh, he's broke. Okay. And uh, I don't know, like, what could be wrong with him at this type of at this time of his uh, life? Okay, you know the 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 very um the the worst thing about that interview was, I believe that someone that went through, I believe he went through some medical treatment that you know brought his maybe they might have had because he's overweight. They had to advise him to like either do. What, yeah. You know, to you know, reduce the weight, and okay, then okay, I was yeah, looking bypass. forward for that thing again. Something not to bypass or something. It might like not be gastric sleeve, bypass. yeah, but mm -hmm. yeah. But I was expecting that someone with those kind of health challenges, and then you you have just a few years left in your life. At least you've passed. He has passed half of his. Half of his yeah, living it's, age. It's over 70. Anyone that is anyone that is over seventy, you can't live another seventy years. Probably you've gone three quarters of your life. You, you can't even live another thirty years. Forget it. Yeah. Hmm. So I believe this is the time he should have been like more honest to say the truth and you know damn the consequences. Like, but I mean, it, I mean, it should be. Me, I was expecting somebody to be a little bit more circumspect, right? Though I can't tell him mm -hmm. how to be because that's who he is, no doubt. Okay. When I say circumspect, in, in the sense that there were actually millions of young people. He's been a politician, a career politician for almost all his life. Okay. All, all I, I was life, thinking yeah. that somebody like that at that age, okay, should be, even if indeed he was. Part of the conspiracy theory to divide the opposition and then uh, lead the obedient into this, whatever it is, whatever the conspiracy is, right? Somebody at that age should be encouraging these young people and tell them, don't give up. Oh, what you did, we didn't expect that. Even me, I wasn't expecting that. How come they were like all of them in that old age? Eh? They are actually encouraging us, the young people, to accept this. Like, accept it, get used to it. Everything will be fine later. Just accept this. Why? 
the man ate his vomit like like he he ate it he ate it from he ate everything and this, this is the same thing that's happening even in the labor party if you notice uh, the the um uh Arban b and the red they have settled yeah, the pampas guys <laughs> Apam- yeah, yeah with 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 Abure. <laughs> they're not they've settled but there's something I said. There's something I told a couple of people when P2B uh, started heading this obedience movement. I said that the obedient, the obedient movement picked the, the best candidates. Let me give you my reasons. Hmm. P2B is a very stubborn human being. Anybody that knows him, I'm from Anambra State. Mm. It will be is very he is the he is this. I don't know if you back back in the days there when we were in the university, there are some lecturers who will see you know that these lecturers they always play by the book, no mm-hmm. matter what you tell them, they will do the right thing instead. Stack them. That's right. It will be is that kind of person. He is not perfect. He has his own as a businessman, he yeah, has his own good thing. judge of uh, character because that one is obvious. When you look at the yeah. pastor's uh, meal miling around him, you can probably just feel like he's somebody who feel like he could manage everyone. No, he can't, in my own opinion. But I'm I'm very 